Travis winged it, so. Well, uh, at 8 a.m., I was hacked. And so I did my usual recovery process. But uh, the hacking this time was uh, a specific message to me. It wasn't just a spying and getting caught this time. Uh, and so the question is, who's the one hacking? And therefore, what message is it that they're trying to send? Uh, if it's Russian, uh, then I would expect a certain type of message, but they've been effective at communicating with me through YouTube now, as I did the video on how they are doing that yesterday. But uh, uh, if it's the church who are targeting me as a critic, it's a completely different message. And that's what we're going to talk about. <clears throat> the message that they sent me was sending me to the church's website where uh, uh, Dallin H. Oaks's devotional is now taking front and center stage having removed uh, Nelson and his embarrassment <laughs> Nelson's talk on Tuesday was about uh, racism and bigotry. And so, yeah, big difference as to who's hacking me and sending me to that channel online. So if it's Russia, are they hoping I'm going to criticize? Or is Russia actually working with the church and, and therefore trying to say, Ha! See? Oaks is a good guy after all, Travis. <laughs> no. No, he's not. And I'm willing to bet I could make a video out of Oaks's talk if I was in the mood to get furiously angry at him. But uh, I already obtained it for Russell last night uh, so I already know about it because Russell is still a believing Mormon and I don't shatter his belief system if he's going to confront me and attack me then yeah I'll destroy him <laughs> it's that simple if people leave me alone they don't get hurt <laughs> and I'm not talking physical far too smart for people to resort to physical violence. I outwit them. Never go up against a Sicilian when death is on the line. <laughs> I had cane powder. I bet my life on it. Princess Bride. And so, if it's Mormon, uh, this presents a whole new low for Mormons. How are you doing what is right? How are you choosing the right? If you are committing cybercrime to protect the church, are you able to say, well, Article of Faith number 12 just doesn't apply in this case when it's the church? Really? Constitution means that little to you. The rights of life, liberty, and property to all mean that little to you. What universe do you think that Jesus Christ is okay with you committing felony cyber crimes to destroy another person's life? 
to hack their system, to spy around, looking for Compromot, and even planting Compromot, or stealing materials to turn it into Compromot. In what universe does a loving God order you to do such a thing? And do you not understand that when you do this in the name of Jesus Christ, that people don't believe you? You claim Jesus Christ, but you're not showing any love. And I see that time and time again with the comments by Mormons. They all condemn me for being a critic. Yet they themselves don't realize that by attacking me, they are the ones who are without love. I'm sure Mormons have had the lesson multiple times, because it keeps getting recycled, of how uh, chastisement refers to correction and demonstrates love. It's not intended to be whipping and beating and punishment and enslavement and all that stuff. But uh, you've heard the scripture from the Doctrine and Covenants of the need to reprove betimes with sharpness, but thereafter showing an increase of love. And so how is destroying a person and leaving them to die a, an example of that? When Joseph Smith talks about the persecutions he's had for his first vision, and yes, it's all encoded, I know that, ex-Mormons. <laughs> you may not know it, but I know it. You just may consider it uh, another fraudulent writing, but no, no, there was method in there, what you call madness. But Joseph Smith tries to tell the reader, why are you persecuting me? If you think I'm delusional, why are you not trying to bring me back with kindness? in an affectionate manner. And so how is hacking somebody to destroy them? Trying to reclaim me. Are you honestly thinking that the tortures and the abuses and the bullying is going to get me to believe that, oh yeah, the church is true, how could I have been so deceived? Are you seriously that dumb? See, because where I grew up, when bullies did that kind of thing, no, they were just doing it to bully. They had no love. They knew they had no love. And so Mormons are far worse than those who I grew up with, who are now the neocon Nazis that are running this government, that are running this country, that are attacking America to overthrow it. But Mormons, when I moved to Utah in 1996 of August, yeah, this is far worse than what I could ever have I couldn't even conceive of such a thing. It was literally horror for me. My own religion. People of my own religion. And not only were they like my peers, but they differed in that they all claimed to be righteous. See, my peers never believed in that. Even the born-again Christians, even though they would 
condemn Mormons. They knew better than to commit crime. But Mormons, dear God, everywhere I go, it's a systemic It's systemic. And so the YouTube employees that are slowing down the processing of my videos who jump on anybody who complains about me. You know, yeah, how is that convincing me that I'm in the wrong? And that you're right and that the church is true and that your God is the one I should be worshipping. Do you not understand that might does not make right? That's in the Book of Mormon, if you had been paying attention. Among many other philosophies of men that are condemned in the Book of Mormon. And so it's, it's very frustrating because I grew up to stand up to people, to stand up to bullies, to stand up to those who abuse, even to stand up in defense of others who are unable to defend themselves. But here in Utah, it's those in authority who are the bullies. It's those who hide behind the internet who are the bullies. And I can't stand up to that. I can't defend against it. And so they may think that they're in a powerful position, but they have no right to claim they are godly that they are in the right, that their cause is just. You can't claim that. You can't claim to be victims when I manage to get through to anybody to temporarily stop you. You can't claim victim when you're the bully. And I shouldn't have to keep doing these kinds of videos. As Mormons, you're supposed to do it yourselves. To be good people. I had a woman comment yesterday. Why can't you just leave the church alone? She apparently didn't catch on that I'm Mormon. And so, yeah. You attack me, I go right back at you. See, she wasn't bullying me. She was playing the victim to stand up and defend the church. And so, how did I respond? I'm Mormon. I believe in Joseph Smith when he said, contend against no church but the church of the devil. And so I turned it on to her. Why aren't you doing that? And so that is the question to Mormons. Why aren't you contending against the church? Because it's the church of the devil. It's carved in stone and in bronze at Temple Square. Everybody knows the symbol. And yet Mormons are like, uh, no, it, it means revelation. Uh, no, it's a symbol of Jesus coming out of heaven. Or even worse, the pentagram has long been a symbol of the stars. We're not talking about a pentagram. We're talking about an inverted pentagram. 
the universal symbol of a falling star, referred to by Isaiah, and copied over from the 1769 version of the King James Version of the Bible into the Book of Mormon. And so if Mormons want me to leave them alone, then the church needs to leave me alone. Not after they've destroyed me. They need to restore that damage now. But then they need to leave me alone. But the damage has been so great that there's no way they can restore it. And they refuse to restore anything. Not one penny. They're in it to destroy me. And that's what you Mormons do not understand. Because I came to them in 1998, two years having lived here in Utah, technically a year and a half. Mm, well, uh, yeah, a year and a half. Yeah, no, well, uh, yeah, a year and a half. <laughs> it was January in 1998. I went to the church and said, hey, I deciphered Paleo-Hebrew. I found out how Joseph Smith is a translator. Isn't that awesome? Church is true. We all know Joseph Smith was prophet, seer, revelator, and translator. Church can't hide that. All we have to do is read our Doctrine and Covenants. It's available for anyone to know. You know, a big secret in the church is, oh, well, you want to keep something a secret, put it in a manual. So the church publicly released handbook number one. Yep, and it still remains a secret, because I'm willing to bet not too many Mormons went through and read it. They just found out about it, and then went, oh, okay, cool, whatever. You know, I don't know how many would have actually gone through it to actually look for things. I know ex-Mormons would have, and they did, looking for the the LGBT issues and, and other types of issues. They missed over the fun ones. I did those. <laughs> but uh, I, I just... Yeah, I have no empathy for corruption. You don't get a pass from me. You don't get me to submit. You may destroy my life, but you do not conquer me. Land, the property manager, the one who's trying to assassinate me, she does not understand. You don't try to murder me and then claim, oh, yeah, I hope we can have a working relationship. No, you don't get to do that to me. She has made no effort to restore the damage she has caused. She will not even take responsibility. So she gets nothing from me. The renewal of my lease, it's going through the landlord's lawyer. With again, a demand that she be fired. And then yesterday, the landlord sent another employee to occupy the office. They just don't give a damn about my life. So, yeah. You get no empathy from me. I know exactly what they're doing. 
and they'll keep doing it. This is their pattern. They get a foothold, they wait, it's called lying in wait, and then they attack again. And then they claim to be victims. Oh, Travis, oh, he tried calling the cops, tried calling the authorities on us. We're the victims. Yeah, screw you. The self-righteous bullying has to stop Mormons.